<sighs> okay, hey guys, this is my rifle. Um, this is another um, Smoon and Smash like player ranking of 2017 so far. Um, I did a Smash 4 one as well, um, which was harder to rank because of how close, because of how close certain players were in skill level. Uh, this this has changed since um since I did the video actually, but the melee one hasn't. Um, so we're gonna go over the melee one today. I'm also gonna be making like a sort of list. Um, we'll compare players if I think the players are like even. Uh, hang on a second. Okay, I'm back. Um, what I'll do is if I think certain players are um, even in terms of ranking, I'll compare literally like every single thing to try and get some sort of scope as to who is who should deserve a higher ranking. Um, or who's, who's like earned it, I guess. Um, pretty much not that much different from last year. Um, the main thing is uh, inactivity from certain players. Um, for example, Titanium played melee last year, but he didn't um, he didn't actually enter anything, so he hasn't he didn't have a rank. He was unranked last year. Um, but this year he has been active. We'll go over everything. We'll go over some some newcomers, their performances, um, players that I think are um, whose like rank doesn't represent their skill, and uh, you know how far they are are off of certain ranks. Um, so we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and make a. We're gonna go ahead and make a new notepad. So I think we'll, we'll go for the top, so like, me, I'm first, like I have, there literally isn't even like an argument against it, like I haven't dropped a set to anyone in Swindon, um, pretty much ever, uh, people who, who are like on the Swindon PRs at least. Um, Cal, who Cal and Jesus, who are like the better players. Um, I'm up two zero against Cal and three zero against Jesus. Um, I've played the most sets against these guys because they've been. I usually meet them in like winners and then grands. Um, I've played Jesus. Uh, yeah, like I just, I just haven't really, like the worst I've ever done, was um, I think I can show you actually, I can show you like the worst I've ever done. Um, this one. Yeah, worst I've ever done is I dropped a game here. Like one game, to to Jesus. I haven't dropped a set. Twenty sixteen, we played two sets, and that was at that tournament. Played Cal two sets again in twenty sixteen, and then since then I've like I'm up three zero against Jesus now. Um, we played. Twice at the locals in January, at the weekly in January, in winners and grands uh, finals. And I took both of those, and uh, and then we played again at Swine Out of Shield in winners semis, and I won three zero. So yeah, and we played. I played dinner. When did I play dinner? Yeah, I played here. Which was weekly is nine. This was at my house. Um, yeah. The cool thing about well, I mean, it's kind of cool, but the uh, it's also kind of annoying as well. Um, and it's not as hype. Is there's actually quite like a significant skill gap between certain players. Like I think the skill gap between me and Tom is quite big. Tom being Jesus. Um. I'm not trying to blast ass or anything, but it's like, but it's also like, quite, like, for example, 
the number one on the Sunil ranking is like it was like a lot harder. Uh, sorry, for the Smash Four ranking it was a lot harder for me to choose than the melee one, just because like this is like a very easy, easy choice. Um, whereas this is like ridiculously difficult to kind of choose. Everyone's got like pretty good resumes. Um, so we will put me in me in first. Um, and now second is interesting because. And this is what a lot of melee boils down to in Swindon, is I think certain players are as good as each other. Um, they just either haven't met in head-to-head, -head or, um, or like, have just been less active than the other. Which is disappointing, like, you'd rather a skill gap be determined by how many wins they have against others, um, and head-to-head, -head, rather than just one being more active than the other. Um, but it's also fair to do it that way. Um, so Jesus and Cal are the people in questions. They are people who have, like, the only people they've lost to is me. Like, Jesus, he's only lost to me. Uh, and Cal has only lost to me. So they're the players in question. The trouble is they haven't met in a head-to-head. -head. Um, they've never played against each other. I don't think they've even ever met. Um, which is because like when Cal's been active, Tom has been at university, and then when Tom's come to the tournaments, uh, Cal has not been able to go for whatever reason. Um, and Cal is no longer in Sundan, so I don't think he'll be attending anymore. But he's still had he's still like attended events, like he attended some in 2016. So he attended one in 2016. Uh, and then he played at Locals 9? Yeah, he played at Locals, we played at Locals 9. Um, yeah, so if we were to boil it down, so we've got Jesus, right? He's lost three times to me. Um, at, at this point, at this rate, like, it doesn't even, we'll just ignore, like, against me. We'll compare the other wins, okay? So, like... Tom, I would probably have to put second because one, he's been more active. Two, he's got more. He's just simply got more wins. Um, he beat. He's he's up three zero against solo carry. Actually, they played a couple of times at. He's played here twice. Um, in winners semis and losers finals. And they played at Swan Out Shield in winners quarters so yeah so they played there um he's also up against dog alma rose um someone who made a couple of upsets and kernas kernas 89 so yeah like um and then we compare cow's wins for example he's up at one over against dinner um the win is like it's a fairly good win, but um, Den has also been dropping off the ball a little bit. Uh, you know, he hasn't been doing as great lately, at least. Um, he was doing better towards the start of the year, but uh, but yeah, that's another interesting thing that I'll go into at later date. And then he's got a win over Ethan and DMBZ, which is like are fairly good wins. For the, on a regional scale, but um, Tom's just got better wins, and so like three zero over solo carry is like quite good. So I'd I'd put Jesus second because he just has more wins. Simply like the fact that they've never met in head to head um, is like really annoying because then what we could do is like go based on their head-to-head -head scores to choose who's like a better player, I guess. Um, like if if Cal 3 0 Jesus, for example, um, like three times and was up 3 0, but Tom, but like Tom was more active, then you, you'd still put Cal above um, because of like the dominance. But because that simply hasn't happened yet, um, you know, it's it's still questionable. Now we've got dinner. Okay, so no, okay, so let's, we've got fourth. This is actually really 
it's surprisingly hard to choose. Um, Dennis had a bad year for sure. He is he lost a dog um, in Jan, I believe. No, when did they play? When did they play? Oh, he actually went zero and two. So he lost a solo carry. So Dinner, Dinner's, I don't think, has earned the fourth place spot. I'd probably, like, I'd say he's not, like, he's definitely got potential. He's just, he's got some really bad losses. Notab notably to um, Alma and Titanium. Brandon's better than people give him credit for, though, to be fair. Um, he has been DMBZ, who did do well last year. Yeah, his only loss was to Decal. Only losses. So that, that that put him like pretty high up. And he beat everyone else. He even yeah, so DMBZ beat Dinner last year and then from this year he's uh he's swapped it around. So that's one improvement from last year, but he's also got some bad losses. Um solo carry notably. Um and he's one one with dog. Uh so I think the players in question, honestly, are Solo carry and so you, you you've got like multiple options, right? You've got Alma Rose and the Titanium and Solo carry. So I think if we look at if we look at Solo carry, she's down 0-3 against Jesus, which is fine because Jesus is higher rank anyway. Um, up against Dinner, up against Chiron, up against Dog. And then he lost to the Titanium, beat Jordan King. Um, so that's his resume. Titanium has, has also beaten Dinner. He's he's beaten Solo Carry. Um, and then he just lost to me. So, but that's it really. He's beaten Solo Carry and Theo. I think that's they played at Swine Out of Shield. Yeah, so Brandon uh, Brandon took it two one. So it's a close set, but but yeah, he he beat he beat him. So and then you've got Alma, who has lost to Jesus, beaten Dinner, beaten Chiron. You, she's beaten Inferno as well. So she has also had, she's also got like an argument. Um, yeah. She also has a, a fair argument. If you compare it to, so she's got one, two, three wins. Brandon's got two. Uh, he would have played Chiron, but he but he forfeit, I believe. I think that's how it worked. Oh no, that was in Smash Four. Never mind. No, they would have actually. They would have played in. Yeah, they would have played here, the winners, but he forfeit. So I don't think that warrants a. Uh, I don't think that warrants a. Outrank. It's hard to say, honestly. Um, they all had close sets. So Alma beat Dinner, two one. Brandon also beat Dinner two one. So the only thing you can really boil it down to is. Um, if they played head to head, that would be really good because then you could you could choose. Alma Rose and Titanium haven't played yet though. Um, and then Solo Carry. Solo Carry is down against Titanium 01. Um, it's really hard to say to be honest. I think I'd have to put. So like when Alma beat, uh, when <laughs> the thing is with this right, so Alma beats Dinner. It's like well, like okay, this new new girl, she just comes in and just beats Dinner, who is fifth on the PR, I believe. Fifth, yeah. Um, and then that sort of gets devalued as soon as you find out that Brandon beats Dinner as well. It's a good win for Brandon. As it's a PR win, 
but at the same time, it's uh, it's kind of like means that maybe dinner's just dropping off. It's kind of like once, so like say for example, one someone beat me. Um, that's a great win for whoever does it. But then if like three or four people start doing it, then it makes the win not as good. Um, on a on a bigger scale, I guess like Mango, for example, like the win the wins against Mango like matter less if more and more people are beating him. Obviously, like matters more. Like he he won real flush. That was that was a sick tournament. But yeah, this is a thing that should be considered. Um, Den is definitely top like six, top six I think. I'd, I'd put him top six. I don't know. We'll find out in a sec. But I think for the sake of like, because we're not already getting anywhere at the moment, the choice is is Alma, Titanium, or Solo Carry. I think I would honestly have to put. I, th I need to think about this. So Solo Carry has been more active than Brandon. Brandon has beat him in the head to head though. Um, when did they play Solo Carry and Dinner? Oh, it was a 2 0 as well. Hmm. It's really hard to say. So he just. Titanium lost to me, and then Alma lost to Jesus. They were both 3 0s. The same event. I oh, know I 2 0'd. I won 2 0. And then Jesus won 3 0 there against Alma. He had quite a run to be fair. I think I think Brennan, yeah. If you look at Titan like this is his only event this year. So it's really hard to kind of rank him above. But then you can't really justify ranking him below anyone else. This is also Alma's first tournament. Um and she had a fairly good run. This was an upset, for sure. And then she went to beat Chiron in Fiano, who is also someone I think has potential, um, and just you know had some losses, but he, one hundred percent, has potential. But uh, like Alma also had a pretty good run. She had like, she had a pretty much identical run to Brandon, just on the opposite side of the bracket. Um. So yeah, it really, it really is hard to say. I think because. So, okay, Alma got a PR win in round one here. It's a 2 1. Brandon also got that same win, and Brandon got the. Um, Brandon got two PR wins against. Uh, you know, against the PR. Um, so, I think, I think for that reason, I would place uh, Solo Carry over. Uh, no, sorry, um, Titanium over Solo Carry. And then put no 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 um Alma Rose, and then next is like next is Solo Carry. Alma Rose and Titanium are like really so like these this is like a skill gap okay. When I so that I think these are in the same sort of caliber of skill. I think these are in the same caliber of skill. They're like ridiculously close, and then it's kind of even from there. So the carry Alma, Drone. Yeah, her her wins just simply aren't like a win against Chiron is not as good as a win against Solo Carry, because of what Solo Carry has done. Um, let's have a look at Solo Carry and Chiron actually. Have they played? They have played in melee, and Solo Carry won that. So. Yeah, so for that reason, I'd put Alma above. Um, if Alma and Solo Carry played, I don't know how it would go though. 
in some trouble. Soto carry. Whew. So win over dinner, win over Chiron. Win over dinner, win over Chiron, win over dog. I went over. I lost a titanium. I went over Jordan King. Alma Rose. Can I can I select multiple things? I can. This is really, this is really, really hard. Alma or Solo Carry in fifth, I don't know. It's really, it's really hard, actually. Literally, the reason Brandon is there is because of this win and this win. They're, they're good wins. They're like very, they're very, like his important wins. If he lost those, he'd be looking at like sixth to tenth, like in that range. But um, but yeah, I don't really want to spend too much time on this. But I think it's fair to put solo carry in fifth, and then Alma Rose mainly because like Brandon, I honestly think is better than Alma. I I kind of feel like Solo Carry is I, I don't know, it's hard to say. Like I think Solo Carry and Titanium are even, but because Titanium has won in the head to head over Solo Carry, I think that deserves a higher rank. I think Solo Carry deserves a higher rank over Alma because he's he's got some he's got pretty much the same wins. Um he's just been more active as well. Um if they were to play in a head for head, this this could head to head, um, this <laughs> head for head, uh, head head head, um, this could swap around. But for now, I think this is fair. Um, Alma definitely, like her wins are very like Inferno here. It's very diff. It's it's very difficult to say the least. Titanium, like, they outplaced Solo Carry here. But Alma didn't play Solo Carry. She she played Inferno and Kurnas. Who, like, Kurnas isn't on... Like, the only reason he's... Like, she made an upset in Winners. But, like... She only lost to Booth, who got third. And Jesus, who got fourth. But Brandon lost to me, who got second. And Booth, who got third. Solo carry lost to Jesus, who got fourth. And then Brandon, who got fifth. So, yeah. I think if, I don't know, <laughs> it is, it's really hard. But I, I think for now, that's fair. O honestly, I think that's I think that's fair. Because um, Alma and Titanium have the same amount of activity. Uh, Brandon's just got better wins. He's beaten Solo Carry in the head to head. Um, but yeah, that's that's like a you know a, a thing that could swap around pretty pretty quickly. So we're going to the seven through to ten range. The next argument, honestly, so you've got dinner, beaten Chiron, lost a cow, one one with dog. Let's look at dog's resume. He's actually won one with dinner. He's lost to Jesus. Two over Sleaze. He beat Maz. And that is it, I believe. Uh, let's look at Inferno. So he's beaten Sleaze. He's beaten Kurnas. He lost to Alma Rose. Who did? Oh, he lost to Frenzy, I believe. Yeah, he did. That's a rough loss. He 
beat Kernas and lost to Almarose. And he beat Sleeves. So again, I think he has potential, but he's not um, he's not got a win yet. If he had, I honestly, to be honest, based on like his skill, um, if he be if he won this set here, I honestly think he has the potential to take a game off of Jesus. Maybe not. I don't know. It's hard to say, but um, kind of trunched. Uh, she got Amaru's got kind of trunched. So did Titanium losers quarters. So yeah, it, it is uh, it is hard to say. Um, Kyrone. Let's be fair. Let's look at everyone's. Uh, Kyrone doesn't really have a melee resume. Um, Dina. My mama dog. One of it, Kyrone. So he lost to Amu Rose, so did Dinna. Dinna has more wins. Sleeves doesn't really have one. DMBZ has a win over Dog, and that is it. He lost to DMBZ. Win over Dog, lost to Cow. Kyrene forfeit, and then lost to Dinner in game five. Hmm. So I think I'd, I think I'd put I'd probably put dinner here to be honest. And that's a big drop for uh, for dinner. Dinner. So if we put dinner there, the other arguments are dog, who has taken a set off of. What did I do? Okay, who has taken a set off of dinner, which is a good win. Uh, dog. Karen. DMBZ. Okay. So DMBZ has taken games off of dinner, which should should be a count. Should he's got one win against dog? He's lost to dinner. So I don't know. I don't know, dude. Sleeves. So win over Zinky boy. I think it's fair to put Dog next because he's been more active and he's got the same wins, if not more, than Inferno. In fairness, Inferno lost to. He, he had to fight Frenzy. Um, but, like. Okay, wait, so he be Who did he beat? He beat Kurnas. Which Adam has not done. However, Adam has beaten Ethan twice, Martin has beaten him once. He's also won one with Dylan, which is good. One over with Maz. He lost to DMBZ. I'd put Dog here. And then Martin now, I think. Mm. 
And then we go from 11 to 15. Uh, I'm gonna close that gap. This looks nicer. <laughs> um, so 11th, you've got, so who have we got left? We've got Chiron, Slees, Andre, Maz, Zinky Boy, uh, Kernus, Jordan King, and Tommy Hulot. So I think it's fair to, so who's Chiron? He's got a win over Zinky Boy, Slees, also has a win over Zinky Boy. They're pretty much even, I'd say. I'd say Kyrone has the edge. Um, actually, no. To be fair, Sleez. So Sleez here. Oh, he tied places with Kyrone. Kyrone got higher placing there. They tied again here. Oh shit. Okay, wait. Dog, Chiron. I'd probably put Chiron higher because they had a close set. Yeah, I'd put Chiron higher. Then I'd put Sleeves. Then you're left with <laughs> we've got a we've got an okay, so let's so Peach, Marth, Falcon, Fox, Marth, Falco, Sheik, Falco. Puff, Ness. So we've got a, we've got a Ness in top ten, and that is really cool. <laughs> it's quite a diverse. I love that's one thing I do love about our region. It's quite a diverse um, character selection. I think the most popular is Puff and Falco. Are like the most popular characters. I might have some influence on that. I also have a Falco. I have a sick Falco. But yeah. So pretty much you're left with a Kernus. No, oh, actually, wait, Kernus. Oh, Inferno has a win over Sleaze, yes. So he nets a higher placement. Um, let's look at Kernus now. Got a win over Jordan King. Jordan King. Has no wins. Neither does Tommy. Tommy, who did we lose to? Oh, he lost a booth. That's rough. And then he lost a dinner. Okay. So Kernus has the win. He has a win. So, and then you've got Zinky Boy, Maz, Andre. Has a win over Maz. So, Kernus, 89 I'd put here. He has a win. Uh. Then I'd put Andre. 
after. So they've got like they've got wins that matter about the same amount. But um the Conus has a win at a tournament that was bigger. Um and mattered more. Um Andre's win was at a weekly and Conus's win was at a regional, so um or whatever you, like I don't know if you call it a regional or not, but Swine Out of Shield was like soon as biggest tournament, so um that matters more uh given this. And Andre, so then you've got Jordan King, Maz. They don't have wins. Zinky Boy does not have wins. Jordan King. Did you take any games? No. So Jordan King and Tommy. Tommy who lost. Also didn't take games, but he played against Booth. Um, okay, so I'd put, so like these two are, are pretty, oh god, don't crash. This is buffering something. My PC's so bad. I'm actually in the process of building a PC. I've got most of the parts. I just need to build the, uh, no, I need to buy the graphics card, RAM, SSD, and the operating system, and then it's finished. I've got everything else. So I'm going to put, so in this, in this position, I'm going to put... Tommy. No, I'm gonna put Jordan. Jordan King. And then Tommy who lock. Maz. Zinky boy. So there we have our 18 players. The lower end of the spectrum is is more about like if they have any wins, which some of them don't, and if they do, which one's more important than the others. Um, this is this is ridiculously hard actually. Um, I think the most controversial, I would argue, is like solo carry over Brandon, but Brandon has beaten him in the head-to-head, -head, which matters. Um, yes, Solo Carry has been more active, but the time Brandon was active is when they were both at the event, and it was a big tournament, whereas Solo Carry's activity in was um, at weeklies 8 in January, which was a weekly uh, Alma would also, you could like even argue that she like, she hasn't, she just has, doesn't have the results yet. Um, in terms of what, what I think potential wise, I think Inferno being ranked 10th is justified. However, I do think he's capable of like top five, top four. Um, the others are just kind of like, they've earned this placement. DMBZ has taken, um, he is a like the biggest wild card. He's my brother. He doesn't play the game at all. But um back in like twenty fifteen when I first got into the game we played a bunch, so he's he's got some fundamental. Um it's like literally fifty like he can take so he can take games off of like higher ranked players. Um But yeah. Dinner is also capable. I honestly think he's capable of like top two. But the trouble he has is he, he focuses evenly on like melee and smash four, so his argument is for both like his argument like he's also the only reason he's there is because he's got some bad losses. Um But yeah, he is definitely capable, like he can he can beat like these people. Has shown promise. I think he's taken the game from Cal once. But then that matters the same as like Jesus taking one game from me. It doesn't really matter too much. Like, um, Dinner just needs to like beat these guys consistently, and then, um, then yeah. And the thing is as well, like Cal's ranking 
This is for so far, okay? If he doesn't attend anything else in Swindon, then I haven't decided yet whether to like not rank him. Um, because you can't just win uh, or like get a second at one event and then be unsurpassed for the rest of the year. He did three... Oh yeah, so Dinner did take a game here. Um, he beat Dinner 3-1. Uh, 3-0 DMBZ. So it's like, you know, I think this list is like fairly accurate. I don't, I don't like I said, I don't know whether to unrank Cal because like, if you keep him on the ranking, then Dinner's never going to be able to surpass him because of um the loss. So, so yeah, it's you know, it's hard, it's hard. Um, it's hard to say. I think. Like now, now it's fair to put Carl in the ranking because he was active at one of the three events that we've had this year so far. We should have had more, to be honest, but it's just uh, we've just been all busy and we've got like a bigger tournament scale now, so tournaments are like less frequent. We do less weeklies now and more like Smash Fests, but yeah, it's 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 hard to say. Um, yeah. So Maz, wait, who's here, right? Maz, Zinky Boy. Okay. Yeah, it's really hard to say. And again, um, Jesus and Cow comes down to uh, like activity. They they need to play in head to head. It's so it triggers me so hard that they're on. They've been active since late last year and they still haven't played in the head to head they just haven't met at the same event um maybe we should force them to play like a salty best of five for like this the pr spot um and then again it's like it's hard to, like jesus isn't even here is it uni but he or he's come he's been to two events so the one in january and the one in and swan out shield so you know, it's like I think we can keep Tom on the rankings because he's uh he comes to a lot, so you know. Yeah. Like I think if we did if we did say so Cal Cal's went to one event, right? If we did uh say he attended three events out of like ten, then we can keep him. But if he stays if he does like two events or stays at one, then it's like I don't know. It's hard to say. Like I'll decide what what's like fairer. Um, this is also like kind of based off. So if we were to rank this based on like who I think is better than the other, I think that um, I genuinely think that like Inferno, for example, is better than like these two perhaps like edging up here um who else yeah inferno is like the kind of like that that's just a bad rank like he's definitely capable of more but he hasn't earned any more which is why he's got that rank um definitely can turn around soon but uh, yeah Alma and solo carry. Brandon, like, Brandon's not bad. Like, he... He, was, he got trenched by, uh... Min. No, he lost He lost a booth. He hasn't played Tom. But I feel like he would get trenched. Um, <laughs> no offense. But he, he's... He's been playing for a while. Like, since, like, 2015, he's been coming around my house. He just hasn't entered anything. And the fact that, um... He was one set win away from making money at swine it's pretty promising the same with alma as well it's like it's pretty impressive that she like they both just came and um and did that i thought i thought that these sets like i thought that dinner would take this set i thought the solo carry would take this set um but it's you know it's cool to see this this happening and um i'm glad that it did because it means there's like more it's like okay not only are there newcomers but they got fifth, um, outplacing PR people, so, 
Yeah, it's hard. It's you know, it's hard to say. Yeah, so I think I'm going to call the video here. I don't want to make it go too long. It's kind of, this is a less, like, interesting video to make than the Smash 4 one, because some of these, there's, like, um, the rankings are separated more by, like, activity rather than, like, actual head-to-heads. Um, the Smash 4 one has got, like, a lot more sets have just simply been played, and the top five is, like, a lot more uh, closer, whereas in Melee, it's, like, um, there are, like, larger skill gaps. Um, and a lot of people don't even play the game, like, Brennan doesn't have a copy of the game, but like, plays a lot, when he comes out of mind we always play, so he has that, he has like, some fundamental aspects, the same with uh, DMBZ as well, um, Dinner plays Smash 4 and Melee, so it's like, he's like, primarily Smash 4, right, so it's like, like what I, I put him, yeah, I put him first for my Smash 4 video, um, this year so far, so it's like, he is he's got some bad losses in melee but he can like quickly turn that around and he does practice a little bit as well so it's like um it really can improve he just has some bad losses so yeah he'd need to like tie these up maybe get ahead um get ahead of them in the set counts the same with this um yeah yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna call the video here um that is my ranking so we've got first, the Battle Rifle, second, Jesus, third place, Cal, fourth place, Titanium, fifth place, Solo Carry, sixth place, Alma Rose, seventh place, Dinner, eighth place, DMBZ, ninth place, Dog, and tenth place, Inferno. Um, and then the rest are, you know, those guys. <laughs> um, I add players to this PvP set count. Um, whenever someone uh, enters one of our events that is from the area so yeah you have to reside within like okay so say you live like just outside or like you only have attended Swindon tournaments and if you're not on any other PR we will put you on our PR that's basically how it works that's why Cal's on this PR um, but yeah I, I don't even live in Swindon neither does Inferno but his activity has been in Swindon so he's on RPR. That's kind of how it works. We all kind of decide between each other. Um, but yeah, uh, that is my melee video. It will probably be more interesting by the end of the year when we have more tournaments. Um, but yeah, I'm going to call it there. So thanks for watching.